Welcome to the Homeworld training mission. This tutorial will cover the user interface, camera control, unit selection, and movement. Our first priority is the taskbar. The taskbar provides you with a variety of information about what you currently have selected and provides you easy access to basic commands. Click OK to continue. You can minimize the taskbar by clicking on the flashing icon or pressing Backspace. Do this now. To bring the taskbar back, keep pressing Backspace. Do this now. Good job! The recall window displays all previous speech in the mission. Click on the recall icon to display all previous speech in the mission. To exit the recall window, click Close. Throughout the game, objectives will be assigned to you. Objectives give you information on what you must accomplish in each mission. Click OK to continue. You have just been issued a new objective. Good job! This is the Objectives screen. Click the Learn How to Play Homeworld objective to get more information on it. To exit the Objective screen, click on the Close button. To issue orders, you must first select the ships you want to command. Click OK to continue. Left-click on the Scouts to select them. Scouts selected. New reinforcements available. A second scout squadron is launching. To select multiple squadrons, first hold down the left mouse button and then drag a box around both scout squadrons. Do this now. Excellent work. Click OK to continue. Notice that the taskbar has been updated with your selection. The taskbar lists all currently selected ships. Ships can be selected by left-clicking, drag-selecting, and by clicking on the ship icon in the taskbar. In order to master space combat, you must first learn how to control the camera. At this point, the camera is focused on a squadron of scouts. Click OK to continue. Hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the camera. Do this now. Excellent work. Click OK to continue. Continue practicing camera rotation. When you are ready to move on, click OK. To zoom the camera, scroll the mouse wheel or hold down both mouse buttons while moving the mouse forwards and backwards. Practice camera zooming. Good work. When you are ready to continue, click OK. To pan the camera, move the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen. Do this now. Excellent work. Click OK to continue. The arrow keys on the keyboard also pan the camera. Now, pan the camera until the scouts are no longer in view. Good work. Click OK to continue. Or keep practicing. To focus the camera on a ship, press the middle mouse button or use the focus key. This snaps the camera to the currently selected ship, in this case, the scouts. Excellent work. To focus on an unselected ship, Hold down the Alt key and left-click on the object. Try this now. The next topic is the Sensors Manager. To activate the Sensors Manager, press Spacebar or click on the Sensors icon. On the Sensors Manager allows you to see the game world from a much greater distance and is used for strategic movement and command of ships. Click OK to continue. The two green dots represent the two scout squadrons. From the Sensors Manager, you can see distant objects such as these asteroids. The Sensors Manager also displays objective information. Click OK to continue. Camera control and ship selection work as normal in the Sensors Manager. All ships have a tactical overlay, or TO for short. TOs help identify friendly and enemy targets. Click OK to continue. Friendly ships will have green TOs. Enemy targets will have red TOs. Allies have yellow TOs. Click O tab cycles through all various TO settings. Some settings display more information than others. Experiment using the camera in the Sensors Manager now. To return to the normal view, press Spacebar. We will now cover ship movement. To effectively command your fleet, you must learn how to navigate 3D space. Click OK to continue. First, select a scout squadron. Remember, you can left now right-click on this group of asteroids to issue a right-click move command. Well done. Right-click movement orders a ship to move to a specified landmark. For example, another ship, an asteroid, or a piece of debris. Remember, you can rotate and zoom the camera while issuing a move command. 
Click OK to continue. The scouts have reached their destination. Ships can also be moved to any point in space. Click to use the movement disk, right click on empty space. Good work. The movement disk represents the current plane the selected unit is on. Right click on a desired location to issue a move order. The ship will now move to its target destination. The next lesson will cover vertical movement. While right click movement covers most situations, Vertical movement is needed to gain tactical advantages. Click Bring up the sensors manager. Notice the ping on the map is above the world plane. The world plane is the horizontal disk at the center of the map. Click OK to continue. To use vertical movement, first select a ship. Now bring up the movement disk by to raise or lower the destination point Hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse up or down. Order one of your ships to move to the ping on the map using the 3D movement. Good. This concludes this tutorial. Practice using the camera, selecting ships, and issuing move orders. When you're ready to move on, click OK to proceed to the next tutorial. This tutorial will cover resourcing, shipbuilding, and combat. To build ships and research new technology, you will need to harvest resources. Resources can be gathered from asteroids and salvage containers. Click to harvest, select the resource collector, and right-click on the indicated asteroid. Excellent. Additionally, pressing the harvest hotkey, H, will order selected resource collectors to harvest nearby resources. Click production ships, like this carrier, can build ships. Reporting. Click the build button, B, to open the build manager. The currently displayed menu shows the available fighter class ships that can be built. Click OK to continue. Click on the scout icon to begin construction of a scout squadron. Notice how the progress bar increases, indicating the status of the current build task. Click on the research button or the research hotkey, R, to add. This is the research manager. Notice that enhanced scout sensor technology is available for research. This improves scout sensors. Click OK. Click on enhanced scout sensor. Each research item will unlock new build or research options to enhance your ships. Deciding what to research or upgrade is critical for victory. Click OK to continue. Research complete. Stand by to begin combat lessons. A squadron of bombers has been constructed and an unarmed torpedo frigate has been provided. Click OK to continue. To attack a target, select the bomber squadron and right click on the torpedo frigate. Order the bombers to attack the torpedo frigate now. Confirmed. Attack complete. Away. To attack multiple enemies, hold down control and use the left mouse button to drag select a group of targets. Attack the three frigates now. You now understand all the basics required to play Homeworld. This tutorial covers control groups, special actions, and advanced commands. Control groups allow you to select a group of ships and assign them to one of the 10 number keys. Click OK. First, select the three squadrons. Now press the control key, and you have now assigned that group to the number one. From now on, pressing the number one key or clicking on the one icon on the taskbar will select group one. Click pressing the number one twice. will also focus the camera on the interceptors. Up to 10 groups can be assigned, each corresponding to one of the number keys. 
Now assign the newly arrived bombers to Group 2. Excellent. Now order Group 2 to attack the enemy frigate that is just hyperspaced in. Strike group, prepare for assault. lesson covers special actions. Special actions vary from ship to ship. The carrier that has just arrived has a cloaking generator. To use special actions, first select the carrier. Now. This tab displays all special actions. Currently, only the cloak ability icon is active. Press the cloak icon to activate the carrier's cloak generator. Special actions are also activated via the shift menu. To access the shift menu, hold down shift and right-click on a ship or empty space using either the special actions commands icons on the taskbar or the shift menu. Order the carrier to decloak. Cloaking offline. Unlike cloak, some special actions require a target. This marine frigate is one such example. Marine frigates are used to capture enemy ships. To capture an enemy ship, select the marine frigate and right-click on the enemy frigate. You can also use the capture icon or the shift menu. Marines going in. Light resistance. Let's finish this. Good work, well people. Done. The bridge is ours. Tactics will be covered next. Idle ships will default to their tactics setting. Tactics govern how ships react to the enemy targets. Click oh. Units set on aggressive will retaliate against all enemy targets. Ships on defensive will defend friendly ships but will not pursue enemy targets. This is the default tactic. Passive tactics order units to stand down. They will not engage the enemy under any circumstances. Tactics will also change the formations ships use. Click OK to continue. To change tactics for selected ships, click on the desired tactic on the taskbar. You can also use the tactics hotkeys. Strike groups are tactical formations of ships designed to support each other in battle. Click OK to continue. Drag select all of these ships. Roger. Now, select a strike group formation from the strike group rollout on the taskbar. New formation. Well done. Strike groups are more efficient than the collection of their parts. However, you will notice that a strike group will only travel as quickly as its slowest unit. Therefore, a strike group is a trade-off between speed and efficiency. Waypoints allow you to move your ships along specified paths. This can be used to move around asteroid fields or to set up sneak attacks. Click OK to continue. Click on the waypoint icon, hotkey W, to enter waypoint mode. While in this mode, you can queue a series of move commands. Your ships will move to each destination point in sequence. Practice this now. Waypoints can also be used to issue common commands such as attack or harvest. However, once a command is issued, the waypoint path ends at that point. 
To end the waypoint, simply click on the waypoint icon, the hotkey W, or press escape. You have now successfully completed the final tutorial for Homeworld. If you wish to practice these skills, you will be confronted by ever-increasing Vagor Strike Forces.